guys and welcome to Books and My Universe. Today I am going to be talking about things I learned my freshman year. Yay! High school! So I just finished my freshman year this past school year so I am going to be a freshman in like two weeks. Woohoo! So I have a list of things my list of things that I learned. So, let's get started. Number one, it's not like High School Musical at all. So, if you're going to go into high school and you think it's going to be like High School Musical, I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's not. TV and like movies lie to you about high school. It's not going to be like that at all. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, I kind of want my own Troy Bolton, but I mean, I'm no Gabriella, so yeah. Number two, the upperclassmen are not out to get you. <laughs> Personally, when I went into high school, I imagined like that the upperclassmen would be really like big and like intimidating, and I was just like an <laughs> upperclassman, and I was just always so scared of them, but then I realized that they're actually really nice like most of them are they're like super nice and like with the mean ones if there are any at your school I mean at my high school they're all pretty great um just stay out of their way and they won't really bug you no one will actually so that's a plus number three make sure your teachers like you this is something I learned I mean I don't really have a problem with my teachers liking me because, I don't know, I guess I'm likable to teachers. I always like follow directions and stuff and I mean, don't cause trouble, I don't talk and things. And like two ways that you can get your teachers to like you is to make sure you know what makes them tick. Because if you know what makes them angry, you can just not do it and it'll be great. You'll, it'll just fly by, smooth sailing, and then Make sure you follow their instructions for all assignments because I have this one teacher and like this teacher, she was a bit bipolar I guess you could say because sometimes he would give us instructions but then he'd think he told us something else so when we do what he first told us and we turn in the assignment he'd be like what? I didn't tell you to do that. And we'd be like, but you did. And then he'd be like, you're all wrong. But then he'd be like, since I guess it's the majority of you, I must have said it, so I'll let you guys slide this time. And we're all like, what? But besides teachers like that, make sure you just follow the directions for their assignments. And if you make a mistake once, they'll let you slide just because they know you don't normally do that. So I learned that's how you pretty much get on teachers' good sides and don't cause trouble, obviously. Number four, make at least three friends in each class. At least three. You can have like, you can be friends with everyone in the entire class, but have at least three. Because when you're absent, you're going to need your assignments. Because this is an elementary school, or even middle school to be honest. Like, they won't tell you what you missed. You need to figure it out yourself. If there are worksheets, get them from the teacher. Do not be shy from the teachers make sure you go and ask them because I'm that type of person that gets too shy to ask them about like what I missed or to get worksheets so don't be me and honestly some people might be absent some of your friends and then you'll be like ah but just make sure you have at least three friends phone numbers and at least hopefully one of them will be faithful to you so sometimes I get shy when it comes to people, but sometimes you just have to take that leap and just start a conversation. Like you can be in a class with a bunch of upperclassmen, but sometimes there might be a few other freshmen. And I had this friend on the first day of school that we didn't know each other. We, it was in math. And there were a bunch of upperclassmen. And then we were sitting like a diagonal from each other. And she was like, are you a freshman? I was like, yeah. So then I just moved up one seat and we were sitting right next to each other and it was great because we became friends and that was really helpful throughout the year so yeah 
make friends, and I know it might seem hard at first, but you'll really get the hang of it. Number five, there are no actual popular people at school. Honestly, like, you expect there to be like the cliques, and you're just like, oh no, stay away from them, they're the mean people, but no. I mean, you have like the cheerleaders, they can hang out, because you know, they're a cheerleading squad, so they like hang out, and like, like the basketball team and the football team, the sports teams, they all hang out too. But then you have your own little groups of people. Everyone is in their own little group, their own bubble, I guess you could say it. And, I mean, you can have friends in several different things, but there's usually just that one group of people that you usually hang out with during, like, lunch and nutrition. And then during, like, class time, there are other people you hang out with. Then that's usually how it works, otherwise there are no really popular people who are really mean. This isn't mean girls. There's no queen bee. There's no king. Like, I mean, they're popular people, but no one really fears them. They're all usually just really nice. Just, yeah. Don't worry about that, guys. Number six. I learned that you have to take an elective that, like, either really counts or just something you really love or you like or something that will be useful to you. I took theater because I love theater. I love acting, I love performing, and that's why I took it. But the class, it was like, okay, because there were a lot of people in there who kind of just ended up there. They didn't have any other electives, they just got put there. And that kind of ruined the experience for me a little bit, because there are these people in this room, and you really want to do what you love, but all these other people, they don't like it. They don't even want to be here, but they just are, and they don't switch out either because to them it was just an easy class they could pass and get an A in, but I really wanted to have fun, and I only felt that fun half of the time, so just take something you love because then it'll just ruin the experience for everyone else. Number seven, join a club or a team and make friends with those people. If you're having trouble making friends, this is the way to go. I already had some friends from middle school, so I was already good with that. But I still joined a club because I wanted to get to know more people and I joined my school's theater club. Haha. -ha. And it was really fun, okay? The meetings, they were they were alright, but this was the club that put on the plays and the musicals. They put on those productions, so I wanted to be there. I wanted to perform on that stage and it would look really good on like resumes and like just in your files and stuff like that. And I got shy around those people. Like I had friends, I was friends with basically all of the freshmen that were there considering there were only like seven of us. And then with all the other upperclassmen, I got shy. And like even during the club meetings with all my freshman friends, I sat with only one person, but then we had elections for office, and that friend, she got into one of them, and then I ended up sitting alone. And that was sad for me, because all my other freshman friends, they had their own little groups of tables that they were sitting in, and here I am sitting in the middle with in a table on one corner, and then there's this other sophomore girl who didn't really have any friends, in the other corner and we never talked to each other. It was the saddest thing and I was always that little loner girl who sat eating her lunch and then reading a book when there weren't announcements going on. It was really sad and I wish I didn't do that and I'm going to try really hard not to because that kind of ruined the experience for me a little bit but like during like rehearsals and stuff when I was in the play last year I did make friends with like seniors and sophomores and stuff and that was really fun because they're genuinely great people and I got great advice from them and I really wish I didn't hold back so don't hold back when it comes to things like this. Number eight, always study even if you know the material. I learned this the hard way because I always go around saying how does one study? What is study? And I personally think I'm quite bad at studying. Like, I guess I just haven't found the right way, but during finals, 
I made outline for two of those finals and those actually really helped me. I made an outline for Spanish, for like rules and conjugations and stuff like that, and then for math. And luckily for math, my teacher let us use our outlines during our finals, so that was really great. And then I couldn't really do it for any other classes because that was just difficult and you didn't really need an outline for that. It was just studying. And study ahead of time. Don't leave it to just that week of studying. I mean, it just makes your job harder and you're just going to be stressed out and you don't want that. And that's what happened to me. Ugh, oh, so frustrating. It's just overall easier on you if you study. Even if you think you know everything, chances are you've probably missed something and you should really just go back and study. Even if it's like five minutes before the test, do it. Just study. Do not waste your time. It will really help you. Number nine, the one I have struggled with the most, and that is procrastinating. I learned that procrastinating, you know, it just it makes your life a lot harder just like studying at the last minute. I occasionally, when, if I had time and I had to like write an essay, sometimes I would actually like do it on time and I would be ready like a week before it was due and I would be like, yes, like this is so great. And then I have my other friends complaining that they still haven't done it yet and it's the day before it's due and I'm like, good job, Bianca. I'm like, go you for not procrastinating. But sometimes I do procrastinate. And that's usually because I procrastinate while I do homework, so then my excuse is that I have a lot of homework. When in reality, I'm just procrastinating and taking much longer than I probably should. Stop watching YouTube while you're trying to do homework, because that doesn't work out well. I have tried it. Please do not. And yeah, when like with big projects and things like that, just plan working ahead of time so that it'll just make your life easier and you'll have time to do it and no matter how much you don't want to do it, if you finish it before the deadline, like with a lot of time to spare, you'll be really grateful that you did. So yeah, just take that from me. Okay guys, so that is all for this video, things I learned my freshman year. There are probably other things that I left out, so yeah. But please comment below and let me know any other things you learned your freshman year. Please like and subscribe. And also, this is a collab video that I am doing with three other friends. Hashtag BCGS. And so check them out. We have Celeste from Celeste Martinez, who is doing back to school outfits. Genesis, who's doing freshman advice. And her channel is Genesis Bologna. And then we have Sandy, who's doing things to know before starting high school. And she is KeyCoach94. Please check them out, like, subscribe, and let them know if you came from me. Or let me know if you came from them. And subscribe, and like, and comment. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, and keep reading.